We here we are, Tori. We are back. We made it to NFT London. We made it. So we got to uh, MC NFT NYC together. I'll let you we go did. first. Oh, thank you so much. And we did. that was fun. It was fun to get to know you and have you participate yeah. in all the amazing things that happen at the town hall. So you came to join us in London. I did. So yeah. tell me a bit about what was your expectation coming to London? Okay. And how do you feel being here? So I think it's really important to have somewhat of a plan, but to release expectations. Yeah. Right. I think that expectations cause internal suffering right. if we if we expect things and that they don't always turn out the way that right. that we want them to. And so I love events like this because you can yes. have a plan, but it's really just about the people that you meet. It's about the energy that you bring to the yeah. table that you show up with. Right. And I believe in divine intervention. I believe that you're going to meet the people that you need to meet um, in the moment. Right. Which is um, that's so that's kind of how I I I've come to London and really it was. Kind of a last minute decision. Yeah, I know. I was, it you, was you across said, the pond. I think yeah, I mentioned you. Yeah, you sent me a message on LinkedIn. You're like, I decided to come. I'm like, you mean tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was it was super last minute. Um, but you know when you have a dream in your heart, you know like kind of when you're in the shower and, it, and an idea or a dream comes to you, but then you actually take that next step and take the initiative yeah. and have the courage to actually pursue those things. Right. And it was that, it was these dreams that I have mm. to, to build... Um, to uh, improve, or how can we connect more deeply to spirituality, and how does how does um, spirituality connect with the metaverse, with NFTs, with the future of technology, or the future right. of the internet, as the, as we're calling it? So, right. I'm a huge um, mental health advocate, yeah. especially in the workforce. And so it's just, you know, as we're building mm. and as we're growing, there's so many new opportunities in the Web3 space. Right. And it's just like, how can we keep these brands and these companies that are building accountable to yeah. our mental health? And mm. um, so there's some really cool projects and people that I've been collaborating with. And uh, so, so it's been fun. So I guess to answer your question, coming here, not really having many expectations, but it's thing. great to see you again. Yes, of course. And um, yeah. So why are you passionate about mental health and spirituality, and how is that playing out currently in Web3? And then the follow-up question will be, how can things get better? But first, why are you passionate about it, and what are you seeing right now? So I'm, I'm really passionate about this project because really just, it's been my journey for the past nine years, and the catalyst to kind of throw me into this environment really was um, losing a younger sibling to drug wow. overdose. And so, you know, going through that experience was, you know, one very traumatic, very sad. But I've spent the last 10 years in this self-exploration mode of just right. like who I am, what is my identity, and it's really led me to just some of the most amazing places. I've got to yes. really, you know, travel the world. I'm very fortunate. I and I went down a just a, a spirituality path where I was, I lived in Nepal as a photojournalist, and I was working with, you know. Um, an orphanage over there which was really fascinating. I dove into religion to heal from my trauma at one point where I was a missionary. <laughs> so, and then also now I've been living in, in Tulum in Mexico for the wow. past eight months yeah. um, where I've really been learning more about the Mayan culture there wow. and plant medicine yeah. and psychedelic therapy. So that's, that's the reason why I'm interested in mental health because I've lived it and I've like really struggled in many, because it affects everything. Our mind is so powerful. Like what we believe about ourselves, our self-concept is so incredibly powerful. And if we believe negative things about ourselves, those negative things could potentially come true. And so that's why I'm passionate about it, is because I want to help other people who might be kind of on that path of spiritual awakening or going through some kind of um, devastating event. It's just like, how do we rise up from that? How do we how do we live after that? And. Uh, yeah, so that's how, the, how I got, how I am interested. Yeah. And then the other question was... So where um, are things going? Like, how can things get better to connect the Web3 environment yeah. to all things spirituality, yeah. mental health? Well, what I love about Web3 is just so community-oriented. So right. it's, I mean, it's just all about community building. Yeah. And, and addiction, it's, it's just who is your community? When you're alone, when you're by yourself, right. it's like, who are you going to reach out to yeah. when you're struggling? And there's so right. much shame and stigma around that. Yeah. And so what I really enjoy about the, the Web3 space is just like people, we want change. Right. That's why we're here. We, right. we, there has to be a change right. in the workforce culture. Yeah. There has to be a shift and a change in um, 
just uh, social media as it is, and the whole web too, their social media is people just, you know, we've seen the negative mental health effects right. of that. And so as we're building these new companies and these products in Web3, yeah. it's just like, how can it be different? I think a key a key focus there is, is the community aspect. So there are many wonderful NFT projects that are right. already working on this. Yeah. Um, one in particular that I love is called Grateful Giraffes. Awesome. And um, they actually, I think they they monitored the Zen Den yeah. in NFT NYC, awesome. which was a, they're very much focused on mindfulness and meditation yeah. and taking that time for yourself. And so um, they have a great community, global, global community. Another one is called Mind Monks. And Mind Monks, they have a, a new launch, um, a pre-mint launch on November 14th. Okay. Um, but they are building monasteries around the world and they're very much focused on psychedelic therapy. Yeah. And so they're building a community of people and building monasteries yeah. um, in sacred places mm. throughout the world where people can come, where they can heal and they can grow together and they can you know, use the, this plant medicine and these psychedelic therapies to more deeply understand themselves. Do you have any samples with you right now? Samples? <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> No, you know, not not, not on now. me. Maybe maybe yeah. we can check out a monastery together. Yes. That'll be yeah. maybe we can invite the NFT London and NFT right. NYC community and just um, grow it together. Yeah. So how would people follow up if they want to connect with you? Uh, LinkedIn is that a good place? Or yeah, Twitter? LinkedIn's a great place. Okay. Um, so you can find me on LinkedIn. It's just Tori Madison. Awesome. Um, and. Yes, um, my Instagram is Woman Be True and Woman Twitter be true. as I like well. That. Very Woman powerful. Be True, yeah, just like you. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Uh, where else can you find me? My, my, um, yeah, I was gonna give out my email, but I'm think I'm gonna not awesome. do that. <laughs> so thanks for taking a little rolling walk with me. It was wonderful. Yeah, it was, great to it was see nice you again. to reconnect. Yeah. Good. I'm glad that you're here. Thank you. We'll have another fun day tomorrow. Yay! We will. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Be back again with more of this very soon.